Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. In merge join transformation, we can use inner join, left join, and full outer join. If I have to use cross join, which transformation would I use in SSIS package? Um, to answer this question, I, there, there is no quick way. There is no uh, straightforward uh, transformation that can uh, perform the cross join transformation. But uh, we kind of trick uh, the SSIS uh, use the same transformation merge join uh, and uh, uh, perform our cross join. So here is the here how it is going to work. First, uh, let's go to SSS SSMS uh, and try to understand uh, what trick we are going to use. I have a table created uh, that's called DBO customer table run the statement and you will see some records so i have five records and then uh, i have another table called dbo customers underscore as asia so run that one that has also five records so if i want to do cross join how i will do that so i will say select a dot asterisk b dot asterisk from dbo customer and i'm going to alias this one as a cross join dbo customer as and i'm going to give this one as a b alias run this one so we what we get here we get uh, 25 records that's cross uh, product or cartesian product uh, so five multiply five that's 25 now if i don't want to use the cross join what option i have it if you see here one thing i did in these two tables i added one extra column and the one in one of them it called join key and the another one it is called a join column so you can name the same thing i i was just uh, altering uh, this table and uh, didn't remember what uh, was the name of the first column so i just wrote a join column and the, this one was join key so it doesn't really matter as long as uh, all the values in this column are the same so now how I can uh, get the 25 records uh, and still uh, I do not want to use the cross join. If you guys remember that uh, we uh, with the initial or basic knowledge of uh, uh, joins of what we have inner join. If we have inner join that gives us all matching records uh, from two data sets. In this case uh, um, the very first data set has five records and if I will join uh, this uh, data set uh, with even first row I will get five records because it has five records with the value one and if I will join with this one so it will give me five records so it's gonna give me five records for each of the row so inner join is kind uh, going to make these one duplicates uh, uh, kind of thing but uh, in in a way it work uh, as a cross join as we have the values uh, same values uh, for the this column so let me write this one we can use also full outer join that will work the same way it will give us all the matching records from the both uh, um, data uh, sets uh, and if uh, there is uh, uh, no match on the left or right that will be also given and uh, on other columns where uh, the values are not matching it will provide us uh, null values but in our case uh, in both columns are exactly matching so we will get uh, the same uh, results by using even full outer join or inner join so i'm going to convert this one to inner join and we have to put the condition on which column we are joining a dot join join key is equal to b dot join key and join column okay now let's run this one mm, let's see what happened key Somehow the I was the, doing a demo for the correlation and uh, I have set this one to the case sensitive and uh, that, that was the reason uh, I had K capital and that's our uppercase that's why it was uh, giving me error. Um, now what we see here we have 25 records even we use uh, the inner join as uh, we have the same column with the same data points or the values that's why when we join them on that one it give us all the matching records and uh, that's how we get this uh, 25 records so the same trick we can do in SSIS so go to SS um, DT or bids or whatever you have according to the version installed on your system uh, bring the data flow task here now I already have created two uh, 
connections here one from uh, server one one from server two what I'm going to do I'm going to read these columns from first one table and uh, I'm not uh, using any column here like a join key or anything I'm just getting the data whatever it is uh, and you can assume that your data is coming from uh, Excel file or um, flat file or uh, XML file and uh, not from SQL server but I, I don't have those files created that's why I'm going to use this table so uh, I'm going to use the SQL statement and uh, that's where uh, I'm getting all these five records and next we need to get another source and I'm going to use the server 2 in this case and I'm going to use a SQL statement and going to get the data from uh, customer underscore AS table click columns for come and find so if you remember to trick the SSIS what we did we added a column at the in the table both of the tables and provided the same value the same thing where we have to do it here we have to use a drive column transformation and then add that column with the same value now here we can use anything um, I'm going to call this one as a join column and I will provide value 5 I don't care I can provide 1, 2, 3, 100, 200 or any value I can provide as long as match in the both sides and now go to drive column 2 call it join column maybe we can call it 2 as it is coming from the second source and value should be 5 and now we are good to go the next part is uh, what we have uh, to use the merge join transformation we have to have sorted data so I'm gonna bring the sort transformation as I'm using SQL Server uh, right here and uh, getting the data from there, people will ask like why you are not using uh, order by and then uh, is the sorted property true and uh, move the well uh, that, that I can use it but for a demo purpose I'm not using it. I'm assuming I'm not getting data from SQL Server. I'm getting data from flat file or Excel or XML. So if uh, you are building your package and you are getting data from SQL Server or Oracle uh, or any relational databases, use that uh, order by clause and is sorted true. So you don't have to use the sort transformation because it's expensive transformation. Now here what we need to do we need to sort uh, on that column so we are going to join uh, column that's where I'm sorting and in this case I'm sorting on join column uh, 2 now the next part is the uh, join uh, use the merge join transformation and then bring the sort input from the left side the merge join is going to accept only two inputs and then uh, uh, give us one output here we can use the um, join type in this case we have inner join we have left join left outer join we have a uh, full outer join so uh, I, we can use either of that we can use inner join or we can use full outer join I'm going to use inner join and uh, already our uh, columns are connected join column is connected to join column 2 and uh, now we can select the columns that we want uh, in our output side so I'm selecting first name last name from the uh, source 1 and I'm selecting address and phone number and region from source 2 uh, now hit ok the last part now you this is the time to write the data to your destination I do not have any destination set up so I'm going to use the multicast here for test purpose and then I will implement uh, data viewer between uh, these two transformations so I can show you the data click here we are getting five records from here and then we are also getting five records from our uh, second uh, source and uh, th then uh, once we run the package we should be getting 25 record that's a Cartesian product run the package and uh, what we can see here we read the five records from first so data source we read the five records from data source we add the column in the both side with the same value the data is sorted and then came to the merge join and we can see 25 records and we can also see in the um, data viewer the row displayed is equal to 25 so that worked perfe perfectly fine for us 
and uh, that's how we can use uh, the existing merge join transformation uh, to perform cross join in uh, SSIS package. Um, the same thing uh, if you, you are going to use uh, for millions of records, uh, my recommendation you don't want to use this, this kind of uh, logics because the sort uh, is uh, expensive transformation, it is asynchronous, uh, it will put all the records in memory and then uh, sort that and then give to the merge join and perform uh, the operation. So in those cases you might want to insert the records into some um, staging tables and from there you want to write uh, some tc equal code and get the required results uh, and that will be probably better instead of uh, putting uh, millions of records in the memory when you have uh, especially when you have um, you know shortage on memory on the server side uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video